Hey, uh, I am on my way to Alfie Weeks to get my broom upgrade. We'll see if he drops us a quest with it as well. As before, I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. Oh, it was 4k. It's a good job I didn't spend any more in that other shop in the last episode. Let's get that anyway. With that broom, I promise you. Another quest, please. Thanks for stopping by. I, you're all set with the new upgrade. I can't wait to hear what you think. <clears throat> this may sound presumptuous, but... You'd like me to report back with even more flight details. <laughs> you know me well. I feel I'm almost there. I just think I can improve broom flight a bit more. Miss Ray's is running a time trial at the South Coast course. Not ideal, really, what with rumours of Ramrock's lot and Ashwinder's infiltrating the place. However, if you're flying high above them, you should be all right, I think. I'm not worried, Mr. Weeks. I'll see if I can find Imelda. I hope you are able to complete these trials. I have a feeling this final upgrade is going to be a sweeping success. <laughs> Do Very be good. careful, of course. I shall look forward to hearing from you soon. Nice one. Okay, so perhaps I could test out my new upgrade on the way. Yeah, we got some. Well, a couple of new quests to do now. Where's meeting? Oh, tons of new quests. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, we're going to carry on with the sky's the limit and speak with Imelda Rays. World map. Far away is it? Oh. Oh my god. Yeah, I really am going to have to test my new broom here. Well, I wasn't expecting that, to be honest. Yeah, let's, let's go. I can stop off at a few of the flu powder things on the way there, I will do, because that would be nice. But geez, I didn't expect it to be right at the bottom like that. Oh. Boy. Yeah. 2,800 meters, I assume. So I can't actually tell how fast I'm going compared to what I was doing before. Is unfortunate, but it does feel fast, I guess. Oh. Can't go through there. Why not? Oh, okay. Let's set a waypoint to there. Might give me more of an indication of where I'm supposed to be going then. Yeah, because I just can't seem to get around this. Maybe I just flew too far to begin with. Or just set off the wrong way. Equally possible. Is it going to be across here? Okay, I, I actually have no idea. Let's open the map again. Where am I? Yeah, so it's just not letting us through there, is it? Why not? Okay, let's go a thing to there instead. So this looks like it might just be outside. And then we might have to get off the broom and have a look. But at least I can see where it's supposed to be now. Okay, so that it looks like it's under something, but 
don't know what. And there's a path that goes in here. No, it just goes out again. Or does it? Okay, I mean, this doesn't... Yeah. I don't really know how to get around there. Maybe I needed to do something else in the story first to unlock a bit more. Ooh. Hoping I could see what level that was. Oh, it's not too high of a level, actually. Armored Troll. Cool. I'm not going to be fighting that right now. Right, okay, I'm going to stop doing that quest. I didn't realize I was going to have so many problems getting there. I mean, I, I must be able to get down there, but I just don't know how yet. So let's go back to the Hogwarts map. Actually, we'll go to a quest and just get one of the others. Surprise meeting. Uh, I haven't seen Natty for a while, actually. Let's... Let's go see her. Ah, okay. So it's just outside of Hogsmeade. Actually, no. Let's go to the Hogsmeade map and actually teleport there. Ooh. This has been quite a journey so far, this episode. Not really done much, but... At least I've got that broom upgrade now. Hogsmeade, here I come. Not too far away, I can just run here. Well, it's not like I can get on my broom anyway, I guess. And now we wait. Are you ready to put an end to Harlow? Sure. I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Filbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Rabe. All right. I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would never go near the hog's head, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. Very well. I'll speak with them, see what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. Hopefully by the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. Let's have a look. Books can't take too long. Is it in here? It must be. It was pointing to go in here. It should be nearby. Yeah. Oh, Isco, what have I done? Mrs. Rabe, I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? <laughs> I'm a security guard at Gringotts, and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give. And my dearest Isco is paying the price. 
Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. Some evidence worth hanging on to. Thank you. Oh, I hope it's not too late. Now, to find Mr. Bickle's other two friends. Imagine having three friends. Otto Dibble works at Gladrax. Why should not realistic at all, is it? Please tell me you didn't take it. Perhaps it... Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I have nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Please, sir. I'd like to help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. <laughs> you know the Bickles? Mm, all right. But we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note when you-know-who came into the shop. I hid the note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he'd placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well, secretly engaged these past six months. We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. I dare say he has higher hopes for her. Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What did he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly. In an instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. I've been able to cover for his requests until now with some creative bookkeeping, but I can't keep it out for much longer. I'm terrified to say anything. I could never live without Rosie. Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. Now hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. Where was I? We're on the right track. Now to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Agabus Filbert must be around here somewhere. I don't think I've been in that house either. That's level three, that's probably why. Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation, and so I refused. You may have shared Mr. Bickle's fate if you had spoken out against Harlow as he requested. Unfortunately, I suspect you're right. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate, I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. One day, Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Rookwood's lot. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. He found the book of poetry, with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core, still am, to be honest. 
I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again, but do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. Nice. Harlow does not like people talking, as you already know. I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friends. Now to find Natty. She's done absolutely nothing at all while I've been running around. Sounds about right, doesn't that? It's not like Natty to be late. She said she was going to the Hog's Head. Uh -oh. Perhaps I'll find her there. Yeah, I imagine I will. Maybe not in great circumstances. He must be around here somewhere. Natty's wand. She can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. She's in trouble. Revelio will show me where she was taken. Okay. Up here. Mm hmm. I don't know if I can wait in the middle of a quest like this, but I will if I can. No, I can't. That's a shame. Nosy little students get what's coming to them. <laughs> hmm. Revelio. Oh, through the front. Natty must have been taken this way. Huh. I need to find her. I thought it seemed strange that she was gonna go and do the fighting. The footprints led to this room. There must be another way forward. Accio. Okay, I didn't realize I was gonna have to pull it quite so far out. Natty must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. I'd better be sure I'm not seen. Arrogant enough to come in here alone. Hmm. Well, put on there to be fair. Yeah. Okay. Oh no. My fault if a catch me is to Too bad. I was getting hit by like from behind though, which is quite annoying, but I didn't have any kind of chance to dodge it or block it or anything. Okay, 
Ooh, big chest here. that was taken from Agabus Filbert. He'll be thrilled to have this back. Yeah, that was actually decent to get back. Right, okay, yeah. So... Looks like someone else is around here. Uh, I mean, I can see some more enemies. Okay, well, before I continue, I'm going to end the episode there, and we'll see what happens with Natty in the next episode. Bye for now.